Hello YouTube, this is Tyans and this is part 3 of my hideout series. Well, number 3, it's not really a part. Um, first off, what I want to tell you is that this is not a secluded place. There are other areas, as you can see on the mini-map, but they have like mobs and things. So, I would suggest just staying over here. Well, you can go to the other places, but I don't suggest you to. Um, this place is actually pretty easy to find because it's right next to this instance. And actually, you can go to this place, just go down the road, and go through here. But something that's pro that's probably better about this place is, it's not just like a really bright and showy off place. It's kind of like an emo place. Well, not emo, but like gothic. It's called the uh, Sorrow Will Crit. I don't know what that means, but... First off, as you can see, it's not that good, it's like, kind of broken, but it has two paths to it, that part is blocked off, but there's a little whale bell right here, and there's lights on it, I think those work, might not, but probably the best thing about this place is when you go downstairs, it's actually a pretty good, a pretty big place, um, so you could go left or right, it really doesn't matter. And actually, this reminds me of that old instance. I don't remember what it's called, but it's kind of like this. But I think it got changed to Miss Pandaria. To like a, to like a higher level place. Because I think I went on it, like, on my Hunter a while ago. But as you can see, there's torches and there's a lot of coffins and bones. So, like, a good place for, like, gothic people. Um, but something that's probably the best about this place is in this room And this is the farthest place to the bottom There is a rare spawn Now I just killed it a few minutes ago. It's called foul main and it says right here for um It's a rare now. I do not have any footage of it right now, but um Something else is there is a broken weapons crate where you can inspect it and this crate looks like it was used to store weapons and armor. I thought when I clicked on it, I'll be able to like loot something, but apparently not. But yeah, if you're like um, a emo or gothic, then this would be like a pretty dark place for you. As you can see, there's no windows, there's only torches, and those don't really give off that much light. But as you can see, you cannot go into this. I was even going to cat form. You can't go into these. I was thinking that maybe you could just get on there and lie down and it'll look like, um, look like you're sleeping or dead. Like in one of these coffins over here. I'm actually going to one of these coffins. Um, let's see, here's one. Okay, uh, there it is. Okay, so you just go into the coffin, turn around, it's a pretty good fit, okay, and just go out, oh, actually, the top side needs to be over there, okay, so, and you don't have to do this, this is just something extra, you can just sleep in it like that, if I didn't have my weapon on, then it, I could almost fit in there, and my back on. But yeah, that's just a good little place for like, if you want to sleep or do something else. And I think it would, I think it respond. Let's draw on soul. Get away from here, fool. I ain't no fool. Shut up. Well, that's the only thing I've seen in here. There might be something else. But there is a rare spawn in this room. He'll... He looks like a Death Knight School, but bigger. He's actually bigger than me. Um, and he just sits there. I would show you what he actually looks like, but I didn't know how long his respawn time is. You could probably go on Wowhead or WowWiki and it'll show you. But that is this place. And I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what this other part is. Like I said, there... It is another part to it, but there are some things that you can attack, and for a hideout, you probably don't want that. And also, what's pretty good about this place is it looks like there's nothing here. 
So it just looks like a broken building that's that's like been in a war site or something. Well, I'm gonna pause the video and go ahead and go to the other areas so I can show you. And we're back. Um, this is the second place of the three areas. Now, as you can see, it's not a secluded place because there is a spawn right here. His name is High Priest Tel Danus. I don't, I don't really know why he's here, but he is level 58, but only has about 7k health. So. He looks really cool. It will probably be better if it was a female, but anyway. And when he dies, he says, by the light, you will leave this tomb. Um, I'm assuming that's supposed to be the tomb. And there's a little thing you click right here. You can read it. Um, that, I don't know what it, I don't know what it says. And there's a few words in there that I actually know, but I don't believe it's a real language. It might be some other language, like some kind of secret thing that not a lot of people know in WoW, but uh, I do not know how to look that up. As you can see, it's pretty nicely decorated. It has some trees along the sides on both ends, and it has these little things and a top cover. And it kind of looks like an igloo, but the center part is higher. And now I'm going to go to the third place. And here we are. Now this place, it is not that impressive, like I said, the first part you should probably just go to, but if you want to do some other stuff, then you can go to these other places. I'm assuming this area was a graveyard or something, because there's these little ghost things, it's withdrawn soul, that was the thing that was yelling at me in the first part. Um, they do not attack, I'm assuming that's because I'm Horde, if you're Alliance, they might attack you. But they might not. And there's also this weird little thing right here. And it's like it's not even a gnome. It's like even smaller than a gnome. Um, her name is Mendra the Hag. And she says, This is these are dangerous times, adventure walk lightly. Um I do not know what that means. But yeah. And there's also a little house right here. It kind of looks like the hideout for m my second video, except you cannot go in it, so it's kind of like just a waste of a place. And there's a little girl in front of this called Marlene Redpath, and she just stands there. Again, if you're alliance, she might attack you, or she might not. Actually, this could be an alliance questing place, so that could also be something might not be it could just be some place but yeah well that oh look there's a so yeah this might be an alliance place but or it could be a neutral place but I just haven't unlocked anything because I have seen a few people come by here but it also could be to um, find that rare I'll um, find her a foul mouth foul main not foul mouth but some people might be there to find that. Um, yeah. Oh, let me show you where it is. I don't know if I showed you, but if I didn't, then here's another look of it. All you do is just fly to this place. Well, it's in the Eastern Kingdom. You go here to Ander Hall. You just look down here, and it's Utter's Tomb, and then you just go up the railroad and to the left and there's that first place you could also um, go right here I'm gonna that's I believe that is the instance where it looks like the inside of here but it could be a different one I haven't gone over there yet because I really don't need to be doing that because I'm looking for places but yeah, that is the end of the video. If you like this, like, comment, and subscribe, and there will be more to come. Bye.